what is up guys welcome back to the keep a hoop youtube channel so yesterday the g league ignite won another game and jonathan Kaminga was another huge part of it he continues to impress had 24 points went 7 of 15 from the field 2 of 5 from 3 7 of 10 from the free throw line also added six rebounds and four assists uh two steals did have four turnovers but yeah just looked really good and i uh, wanted to go over his game from last night. I know I did a video on him Wednesday, but uh, yeah, I mean, I just continue to be impressed. So wanted to bait that down. And didn't forget about Jalen Green, who added in 21 points himself, also added five rebounds. Um, so I'll, I'll go over his video um, probably sometime next week. But yeah, um, another Kaminga video. If you haven't um, watched our first one, go check that out. And if you um, are new to the channel please subscribe also like share and comment on this video follow us on our social media pages it is keep underscore it underscore hoop on instagram and keep it hoop blog on twitter but yeah let's start so <clears throat> you know we we talked about his his athleticism and his ability to get out the transition being the one thing it was nice to see him um you know get to the line take 10 free throws showing that he's not afraid of contact and, and you know when you're when you when you see young guys who are athletic but sometimes have a thinner frame, you worry about getting to the line and then also just the physicality. But he seems not to be bothered by it. Um, and it, with his leaping ability and his quickness, as long as he has that mindset of attacking, he should be able to get to the free throw line a lot. Like the, I mean, the defense right there, he didn't really do much. It was just a bad pass. But um, the vision, the passing to uh, Jalen Green. You know, we talked about this last video as well, but but a huge part of today's NBA is, is turning defense into offense and just being able to get the rebound or get a steal or even just taking the outlet and then just making a play, um, you know, whether it's for yourself or other people. And um, I think he's shown over the last or the first two games of the G League season that he's very capable with the ball in his hands, whether that's scoring for himself or getting other guys involved. And, you know, just being seeing seeing a young young player, um, you know, who's not necessarily known as a, a playmaker or a point guard, still being comfortable with the ball is good. Now, this was impressive for me. <laughs> you know, the, the shot's still inconsistent a bit. Um, you know, the form is is looks fine for the most part. He doesn't jump a lot and not the smoothest motion, but the the the, the motion overall, the form looks fine, but air balls it really badly. What I was really impressed with, though, is the confidence to to shoot it again. Um, you know, he's going to get a lot of open looks because teams are going to try to force him to shoot it. They're not going to want to give him the drive. And as long as he's willing to take them, he's, he's showing that he can make enough of them. Also talked about this on Wednesday's video, but his ability to play out of the mid post is impressive. Really nice footwork there. Uh, faces up, back down. He's just the strength. Nice little shimmy. Pump fake, um, you know, does, the guy doesn't defender doesn't really bite on pump fake too much, but is able to get inside positioning. Uh, he's athletic enough to probably go up and try to go go for a you know um, up and under layup. But he's Brandon actually wide open. Really nice playmaking there by Kuminga. And th those are those are plays where you don't have to run anything right. And and he's showing that he has the ability, the IQ, and the creativeness to to create something out of nothing, which is um, a skill that not all young players have right because it's like there's players that can go out and they have the talent they have the threes uh, the three-point shooting or the the ability to get out the transition but at the end of the day if you're going to draft someone in the lottery you do want someone that can that you know you can get the ball to at the end of shot clock and, and make something happen for you and your team and is able to play the pick and roll good patience right there you know doesn't force anything um again he, he's shown the ability to kind of burst out and explode but you know, uses the, the screen, sees if there's a, a mid-range or a floater he can get. A little hesitation, goes in, uses his inside shoulder, bumps off. Nice lefty finish there. So, again, a lot of patience. Um, looks really poised. And I keep saying this about younger guards um, in today's game as he makes out another three. But Kate Cunningham and Jalen Suggs also just a lot of uh, patience and poise with these young guards, which is really good to see. Again, playing out of the mid post, um, he's able to draw the foul. Um, I, ideally on this one, I would like to see him spin away from the double. Um, as soon as he sees the double coming, right? Because it's not just one guy. This guy's hedging or uh, showing too, right? So ideally he sees that. And I think he already had his mind made up that he wanted to go over his, uh, you know, or 
towards towards the left or towards the right um, into the paint. But ideally, he sees that there's a wall of defenders here, and there's actually almost three guys who can contest a shot. Um, so I, ideally, he spins back out to the weak side right here to the left side, which I think would have been a better move. But um, nonetheless, was able to draw the foul. <clears throat> you know, we've, we've seen now that he's he's able to score at all three levels, really, right? He's, um, you shoot the three, he can drive, get to the rim, but he also has the mid-range game and is also able to get to the free throw line. So, um, you know, I, I went into the, the G League season thinking that he was more of just an athlete, but he, he's shown a lot more um, early on than I had expected. Again, the, the ability to play out the mid mid post for his age is really impressive. And the jump shot is, is is a lot further along than I had initially been led to believe. So um, you know, very impressed. The the athleticism, the slashing, and the uh and the defense were all things that I, I you know, kind of expected, but his shooting both from the free throw line, uh the mid range and the three point line. And again, the the patience and um, I guess the vision, you know, the passing is, is above average. It can definitely get better. And that's something that with time, I'm sure he'll uh, develop. Um, obviously, playing with guys like Jarrett Jack, Bobby Brown, that definitely helps. And, and playing under Brian Shaw um, definitely can hurt. And, and again, the mid, mid post game is something that I'm really impressed with because a lot of guys don't learn that until later in their careers when their athleticism and everything starts to fade and you start adding that to your game but it is nice and and i remember um you know as, as i wrap this video up a shorter video but i remember when i read an article a while back talking about kobe's influence on the league and part of this is also mj's influence and i talked about mj's fadeaway um on an earlier video a couple weeks ago but how he really changed the way people looked at the fadeaway but just the ability of a lot of these younger guards to play out of the mid post and really, you know, I mean, we've all done it, right? We've all been in a gym and shot a fadeaway and yelled Kobe. And that just, you know, whether we work on it consciously or not, and some of us do and some of us don't, but it's it's that ability to just, you know, even, even just doing that and envisioning and watching Kobe videos, it, it's still ingraining some of that, you know, into your head and muscle memory and, and you were talking about the footwork and all that. So it is, it is nice to see a lot of these guys kind of, um, you know, be influenced by guys of, of, you know, like Kobe and MJ. And obviously there's guys that are influenced by Steph and LeBron. And there's that whole debate going on about the most influential players of all time. And I'll probably do a video or an article on that at some point. Cause I do agree and disagree with some of it, but yeah, you know, I just wanted to do a shorter video again, um, breaking down Kaminga's game and kind of just talking about, again, what I've been impressed with. Um, you know, there's still obviously things that he can work on, his dribbling a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes he, he looks a little uncomfortable and his dribble is a little bit loose, uh, whether it's on um, on transition or, or in the half-court offense. Again, that's something that will come with work. His shooting consistency that's just reps, but but I like the willingness to take it, his confidence, and he's already shown that he's not a, a liability or a bad shooter. Um, he's already made multiple threes, and again, the athleticism and driving was already there, but as he as he continues to get stronger and develop his dribbling and shooting, um, I'm really impressed. Like I, I had Jalen Green over Kaminga earlier. At this point, if we were to do a power ranking, I'd probably have Kaminga third. Um, I still have Cade Cunningham first cause I think he just, uh, he just does it all. Um, and I've done a video on him as well. So go check that out. And also on Evan Mobley, who I think is a second overall pick at this moment. And I, you know, both of these guys are, are so just so ahead of the years and so versatile. And I think Kaminga slots right in at three. And I personally like Jalen Suggs the most. I don't think he's the best player out of the bunch or has the highest, maybe the highest potential, but I, I really don't think so. He's really good though. Uh, and I, I, he's probably the guy I enjoy watching the most. And I, I do like Jalen Suggs a lot. I think I have him at fourth and then you can, you know, I think after that, because Jalen Green, I know is a little bit, and again, I'm trying, I'll try to keep this video short and, and we'll have a longer video on, on the overall draft prospects of, of this summer. But 
you know, Jalen Green is someone that I know a lot of people are high on, but there's also a lot of people who are skeptical about him. Maybe his attitude, um, his willingness to do things outside of just scoring. And even on offense, his whole, whole offensive or scoring package, people have questioned if he's just an athlete or not. Um, I've compared him to kind of like a guy like Josh Jackson, um, you know, Andrew Wiggins in terms of having the talent and being all right, but never being able to put it together. I don't want to judge him to that degree yet. And he's only played two games in the G League. He's young. Uh, I'm not going to put any kind of label or comparison on him in terms of disappointments. But yeah, we'll see. Um, but but yeah, I've been really impressed with Kaminga. I think he's a top three pick right now. Definitely lottery, definitely top five. Um, yeah, I mean, he's shown, shown a lot, impressed me. So that'll be it for today. I know a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you haven't, follow us on social media. Dude, follow us on that. Again, it's keep underscore it underscore hoop on Instagram. Keep it hoop blog on Twitter. Links will also be in the description below for Facebook and everything else, our blog, podcast, all of that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we will take a day off tomorrow. We'll be back Monday with more content. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks. Peace.